Hey guys, Polly Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio. It's Wednesday, September 30th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. Real boss out of Kershaw last night. That's what stars do. A bloop single, that was it. Struck out 13 Giants. At one point, struck out 10 of 12 batters. Giants clinched the NL West. The offense, well, they broke out of it. I don't trust them in October. Hernandez hit a home run. Easy win over the Giants. That's the first time in franchise history they've made the playoffs three years in a row. I can't believe that. I also can't believe... You know, Kershaw's got, uh, what'd they put up? He's got like 290 strikeouts on the season. He's had a hell of a year. Once In one year, Koufax struck out 383 guys. Think about that. He's 100 ahead of uh, Kershaw the year he's had. The problems continue for the Astros. The bullpen has an ERA of six and change this month. They blew another lead last night, and uh, they gave it away. Now they trail the Angels for the second wild card. And now the Angels sit there in second place. They've won seven in a row. They send Richards to the mound today, looking to complete the sweep of the A's. And then tomorrow, they start a huge four-game set in Texas. They could be only a game back when it's all said and done and that series starts. And now the pressure's on the Astros, who have stunk all year on the road. They still have four more games left on the road. And now they trail the Angels, who are red hot and playing with a ton of confidence. And the bats have come alive. So that'll be a hell. Everything's in, the, uh, in play for the Angels. They could win the division. They could get the wild card. They could go home and not make the playoffs. Do you trust the Astros on the road to finish it out and maybe go 3-1? and one? I don't. I don't at all. Twins still sitting there a game and a half back. This is cool today. Because of the rainouts, we have three doubleheaders. Three doubleheaders in a 10-30 Pacific. We have game one of St. Louis and Pittsburgh. Waka against Cole. Cardinals win. Just get one of the games today. They split. They're in. They clinch the division. Toronto, same deal. They get one of the games today. They're in their magic numbers down to one. Good job out of the Red Sox. They're playing good ball lately as they won the first two against the Yankees. And you got that doubleheader with the Twins. Eh, a kid can dream. A game and a half back, though. They're going to have to sweep the doubleheader. And they close at home against the Royals. Time to tell you what I'm betting. Two featured pro picks up at pregame.com. Uncle Dave is red hot. Dave Essler, his game of the month goes today in Major League Baseball. A 70% run on the game of the month with his winners. A pick you must have at pregame. And Steven Over, rare chalk in Major League Baseball, his three-star MLB chalk of the year. It's all about the spot with this selection. Nover's red hot, especially in football. Two picks you must have up there at pregame.com. Handicapping the cappers, time to uncover that hidden gem. One pick a day, that's all I make, so you know it's a strong selection. Up 16 units since we started at pregame. And we have a pick we like the pitcher. We're going. We hate. We uh, love the guy we're going against, who has really struggled. He was horrible his last time out, and we're back in a hot team in this one. Grab it for just twenty dollars. Handicapping the cappers. Paulie's pick from the pros. Two cappers on this game, but for different reasons. Combine the reasons, it makes it a strong selection, and get it up there today. Twenty dollars. Handicapping the cappers. The free play, as always. Betting half you on this one before I get out of here. Sleepy J is on the Royals. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll see you Thursday for Thursday Night Football on pregame.com.